Let's take it. Behind him! You, you, right up the road. Make sure they don't come back. Now! Gunshots, what's going on? We had a run in with a few rippers, but I handled it. You handled it? What's the. How? I should have known. You should have known what? Jesus, Ricky, who's running security here? You know, I ask myself that shit every single day. I'm done here. Good. So, what are you doing out here? What am I doing, Dick? Addie told me to come and get you. Why? What? Hold on for a second. Is Boozer okay? I don't know. We gotta go. What's wrong with Boozer? All I know is Addie told me to find you. When I asked around, I found out you and Skizzo were heading up here. Now I know why. I don't know what you're talking about. The crash site? The medical supplies? It's no big secret, Deke. Iron Mike was negotiating with Carlos, making a deal so our camp would split it with the Rippers. Oh, bullshit! What do you mean? I mean bullshit! I was there. At that cargo hold's already been looted. Tracks from the crash site all head south. Now, I've been dealing with the fucking Rippers for months. You can't trust a goddamn thing they say. Now you're sounding like Schizo. Schizo, he put you up to this. He told you about the crash site. <laughs> yeah, great. So now you're calling me Schizo's errand boy. No? Then how'd you find out about it? A drifter up at Copeland's camp. Like you said, it ain't no big secret. Yeah, right. Well, Schizo's been trying to pick a fight with the Rippers for months. Guess it's lucky you came along to do it for him. Stop you. Last time I saw you, before last winter, you told Iron Mike to go fuck himself because he wouldn't pay you to bring in survivors. It's not exactly what happened. I remember it pretty clearly. Iron Mike said he'd have nothing to do with slavers. Okay, we never forced anyone to come in against their will. How about Tucker? Same thing true for her? I don't know. You ever think when you roll up on someone, Starving out in the shit that maybe hasn't slept in days? Reach the point where they stop running from men like you? You ever think they don't have a choice? But you took them to the hot springs just to say, Earn a few camp credits. Everybody's got a choice, Deacon. It takes us a lot, too, bringing in someone who can't work, can't earn their way. You know, you just be glad that Iron Mike isn't like you. William. William, if you can hear me, I need you to stop! Addie, what's going on? Loser. <clears throat> Go and hold him. What the hell are you doing? Listen, what are you doing? Listen, we Not need to do arm. this, and we need to do this right you now. what? No. Don't you... Oh, don't no. you take Deacon. it! No, no. De no, you're not... No way! No, you're not gonna Deacon, do this to Deacon, listen to me! The antibiotics will save his life, but nothing on God's earth is gonna save the arm. Now listen, I need you to help me right now, or you can just watch your friend die. Okay. Eddie, we're losing him! Wait! Deacon. All right. All right, all right. Hey, pal. Hey, pal. 
All right, hey, I just need you to stay hold with him. me. Hold him there. Okay. Hold, hold him. Deke. Deke. Okay. Hold him down right there. Okay, okay, okay. Ah! Ah! Oh, my goodness. Ah! No, no, no. He's losing too much blood. You gotta stop. He's losing too much blood. Hand me the gold. Ah! Ah! Oh! Oh, no. Boozer, come on, man. Come on. Hold him. You're okay, pal. Where? Where do I hold him? Just hold him like this. Stop panicking I'm and hold trying. Hey. You did good in there. When I was in high school, I thought, hmm, maybe I should be a mechanical engineer, or should I be a surgeon? I guess I should have been a surgeon. <laughs> oh. And you. Hey, hey, okay. You know, you saved your friend's life today. I don't think he's gonna see it that way. Yeah, well, I think he will. I gotta go and give him his IV drip. And you know what, I don't know where you got all this, and I don't want to know. But it's gonna save a lot of lives, Deacon St. John. A lot of lives. I gotta go help Addy. Mike, just settle down, okay? Deacon! Get out here! <laughs> I heard what you did. I wasn't about to let him die. Mike, let it go. It's done. I know that, goddammit. Who's there gonna live? I don't know. But the Ripper saw you. Followed you back. When Carlos finds out about this, there's gonna be the devil to pay. Carlos can go fuck himself! You are writing checks with other men's blood! I hope you're good with that. You did what had to be done. Mike, wait up. Hey, uh, how's it going? Where? Okay. Uh, so, uh, you would come back a couple soon, months huh? ago, we were up by Crazy Willie's, just scavenging, you know. I thought maybe the place wasn't picked up. Hey, wait a sec, I'll get it.
Lost Lake to Deacon St. John. Are you there? Uh, yeah, Ricky, what's up? Brian, I'm at one of your beacons. Which one? What do you mean, which one? This Nero radio has a GPS, doesn't it? Yes, of course it does. I, uh, okay. Uh, you're at Olali Falls. Okay, good. Uh, keep an eye out. A field op is gonna be there any minute. I'll Brian out. Oh, Brian! Oh, God damn it. Oh, Brian. Come in. Your friends are here. O'Brien. I told you they're not my friends. Okay, head in on foot. Yeah, 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 I know. Uh, what do you want me to do? Uh, use one of these tracking devices. Standing by. No, don't not this time. I'm already tracking this one. Follow the researcher. She's there to investigate an infected subject. The freak that was tagged in a nearby cave. A cave? You want me to follow armed Nero goons into a cave? Just stay close to her. While you're in range, I can intercept her data. Well, Brian... I'm still working on the info you want. Don't ask. Why the hell am I talking to you? Oh, Brian, out. Sound off. Lock down. All clear. Precisely, expressing a series of normally dormant proto-oncogenes into an active state. Cancer. Look at him. Look at all of them. That look like cancer to you? Maybe you're really bad. No. No, no, this is something far worse. What do you mean? This virus is on a mission. The freaks are what they are because the virus wants them that way. What are you saying? I'm saying... Jesus, what am I saying? Terrorism? You're saying this was deliberate? I don't know. That's it. Is she done? Yeah, okay. Time to get the hell out of Dodge. something.
O'Brien, come in. I've got the data. Receiving it now. Thank you, Drifter. What the hell is she talking about, O'Brien? About this virus, whatever the hell it is, or what, what it's doing? I want to know what the hell's going on, O'Brien. Why are they out here? What the fuck are you doing? O'Brien! Okay. I'll be in touch. O'Brien out. Oh, boy, this is gonna get old fast. Lost Lake to Deacon St. John. Are you there? Uh, yeah, Ricky, what's up? Iron Mike says you volunteered to stick around, do some runs for the camp, but that you refused to work for Schizo. Yeah, something like that. Well, I can't say I blame you. Okay, well, I guess I'm stuck with you. So stop by the mechanic shop, uh, leave. Daddy, you there? Deke and St. John to Lost Lake Infirmary. Come back. Deke! Hey. Uh, feeling a little out of it, you know. You okay? What's going on? Boozer. Hey. Uh, nothing. I, uh... I got tired of listening to the Radio Free Oregon. It only takes so much of his truth or bullshit, you know? Deke, uh... Ad Addie told me. Oh, I'd be dead if it weren't for you. Getting the anti whatever the fuck's. So. Uh, boozer, I uh it must have been fun. Uh, holding me down while she fucking whacked away at me. <laughs> Remember how uh Jack carved up that turkey last time we was all together? <laughs> he kept slipping all over the goddamn table. Yeah, booze man. I remember. I still feel it. Worse than the rippers. If, if you hadn't been there to pull me down, I don't know what would have happened to you. Well, it's done, Boozer. It's done, so it's done. Uh, Deke, uh, sorry, I'm feeling, feeling a little woozy. Yeah, uh, hey, Addie's gonna kill me if she finds out you're out of bed fucking around. Yeah, I've. I hear a bunk, uh, calling my name. Lost Lake signing off. Hey, listen, Boozer. Bo Open it up! Just stay out of trouble. You got me? Freakers sometimes, you know? Like, do they feel pain? Anything? Hell, I don't know. I hope not. Uh, hello. What's going on, Blair? All right. See you later. Hey, man. Hello. Just one? All right, later, man. What the hell is she talking about, O'Brien? About this 
virus, whatever the hell it is, or what, what it's doing. I want to know what the hell's going on. Why are we out here? What the fuck are you doing? Ryan. I'll be in touch. Ryan out. How's it going? Just looking for some stuff. You go through a lot of this shit, yeah? Don't beat her up too bad. I'll be here if you need me. Later, Deke. Bounties. Lake to Deacon St. John. Are you there? Uh, yeah, Ricky, what's up? Iron Mike says you volunteered to stick around, do some runs for the camp, but that you refused to work for Schizo. Yeah, something like that. Well, I can't say I blame you. Okay, well, I guess I'm stuck with you. So stop by the mechanic shop. Uh, we've got a job for you. Yeah, okay. Deacon up.
Hey, Ricky, you said you had a job for me? Hey, Deke. Yeah. You remember Shane Riley? Everyone called him Red? Red Riley. Yeah, never heard of him, but let me guess. Ginger? What? Red hair? No. It was his boots. He wore these rattlesnake boots dyed with god-awful red color. He made quite the impression. <laughs> no, I bet. Anyway, he used to do runs for us back in the day until one day he decides he didn't like the camp credits we were paying. So he up and kills Lindsay Fuller. Who? Lindsay. Worked supply before Blair. Wait a second, so he killed an unarmed woman? Oh, she was armed. She just wasn't expecting him to shoot her in the face. Will you listen? So Red murders her, cleans out her supply hut, and then takes off before anyone knows what's happened. Got away clean. Oh, that son of a bitch. Until now. He and his men have been spotted up at Camp Pioneer. You don't gotta ask. I, uh, I got this thing about him. About killing unarmed women. I know. So I knew you'd want to handle it. Yeah, like I said, I got this covered. Um, what else can you tell me about him? Not much. Oh, wait. He chews tobacco. I heard he was such an addict that he rounds up cigarette butts, takes out the tobacco, and chews that. Well, that's disgusting. So now I got two reasons to kill him. Yeah, but be careful, Deke. Ricky, I'm a camp pioneer and it is a goddamn war zone. What's going on? Are any of our guys Damn. there? Uh, no, I don't think so. Gotta stop moving sometime. Uh, no, I don't think so. It sounds like they're clearing freaks. Uh, don't worry. I'll find this guy. Deacon out. All right, 
Right, where the hell are you? Newts. Oh, wow, well, they're killing newts. Okay, what's this? Okay, yes, yes, cigarette butts, yes. I gotta reload. Like uh, the kind of prince that's in the fancy cowboy boots. He shot me! Uh. I'll just take these. Hiding in these bushes. Get the bastard! They got him.
now. Good. You're in. Jesus. Well, if you gotta go, you gotta go. Gotta stop moving sometime. Where the fuck are you hiding, Red? He's gotta be here somewhere.
I'm at Camp Pioneer and it is a goddamn war zone. What's going on? Are any of our guys there? Uh, no, I don't think so. Sounds like they're clearing freaks. Uh, don't worry. I'll find this guy. Deacon out. This'll do. Up. I just wanted to say I'm, I'm sorry about what happened to Boozer. Yeah, probably not as sorry as he is. Look, Addy wanted you to know that if you hadn't bought her that list tonight, Boozer would be in a hell of a lot more pain right now. Yeah, well, it just made it easier for you to carp one. Anyway, I... We hope he makes it. He's my friend, too. Hey, listen. Um, thanks for bringing us in. <clears throat> I gotta go. Deacon out. Hey, hey, Ricky, I got him. Deacon, what a relief. Lindsay has some folks she was close to. I'll let him know. Yeah, okay. I'll see you around, Ricky. I've been uh, thinking about what you were saying about doing something to make a difference around here, pay back the camp. I'm listening. Do you got a few minutes? I want to show you something. Yeah, guess I can spare you a minute or two. So where are we heading? You ever been up to the caves north of the lake? I know. 
Come on, see if you can keep up. Okay, let's go. I got Marsh duty anyway this morning. Gotta see if any freaks are stuck in the muck out that way. When's the last time you went up there? In a few years, I guess. When I was a boy, we used to live in that damn cave. My old man sort of fancied himself a geologist. Sounds like we got a couple. Freaks stuck in the mud, I mean. Yeah, sounds like it. Here, let me take it. Nice work. Hey, Schizo's just found a new man for the job. You know what Schizo can go do. Anyway, as I was saying, we spent hours talking about how all these caves were formed when lava flows would harden on the outside, but the molten cores would still flow like buried rivers. You got the big caves that drew in the tourists, like Metolius up there. And there's way more than that. Riddled all over these parts. Okay, okay, we're coming up on the highway. We gotta be quiet. All right, get, get down. Damn it, Jesus Christ! This is why you brought me out here? Smell a bunch of goddamn freaks? Yeah. Okay, okay. Come on, follow him. Wait, wait, wait. Follow him? Where the hell are we going? Stay down. Just what the hell are we doing, Deke? This doesn't seem all that smart, even for a goddamn drifter. Hold up, hold up. You remember telling me about how the tourists used to flood up from California in the summer, choke off Highway 97 and the I-5 freeway? Yeah, in July, folks smelled almost as bad as these here freaks. Well, you weren't wrong about one thing. These freaks, the big groups, the ones that some call hordes, I think they're the reason we can't get their numbers down. What do you mean? Think about it, man. I've been out here in the shit collecting bounties for more than a year. Boozer too. Ricky, Schizo, a few others. How many freaks do you think I killed? A few. A few. Yeah, but their numbers never go down. <laughs> you got a point? It's these hordes. Every night, there's a steady stream of them up and down the Sandium Highway. Thousands of freaks pouring into the Lost Lake Valley, north of the Cascades. And you think they're coming up from California? Highway's closed off. No one's been south of the Sandium Pass in years. It's not closed off to the hordes. Freaks are the reason it's closed off. Anyway, the point I'm trying to make is that the hordes come in every night. Not a goddamn thing we can do to stop them. Got that much right. Lost more than a few men trying to back in the day. Yeah, I know. I was there. And every horde that comes through leaves a few stragglers or gets busted up and scatters and, and just like that, freaks everywhere as far as the eye can see. No need to see them to know that they're around. We figure out a way to stop the hordes coming through. Maybe we can make some headway, reduce their numbers. Make it safer. Free up more farmland, irrigation. Yeah. Okay, so how do we do that? You know goddamn well you can't take on a, a, a whatever you call it, a, a horde? This is how. I'll be goddamn. They stay in there all day, hibernating or whatever the hell freaks do. So what are you thinking that we... Yep. Blow it the hell up. Stick it down to my there, there, and there. We'll bring down a mountain of rock. We seal this shit up. Yeah, so we trap a few hundred inside. What good is that gonna no, do? No, no, you don't get it. We seal this cave. Maybe they don't got no place to sleep. Or maybe this trail of piss and shit dries out, goes stale, and others stop coming. Get my attention. Okay, come on, let's head back. All right.
right. My knees are warmed up a bit. Let's see if you can keep up. Yeah, okay. Tell me, when does being out in the shit make you an expert on freaks? You spend your spare time just following them around, seeing what makes them tick? Not exactly. And how do you know about all this? About what a horde's gonna do, where they sleep? A few days ago, I was riding north of Belknap Crater when a chopper flew by. A chopper? What the hell? Just listen to me. It was a black chopper. One of those Nero choppers that used to fly all over the goddamn place when the shit was going down. And you saw one? Still f I followed him. I stole one of their radios. I've been trying to track them down, see if they have a base around here. Supplies. Shit, I mean, see if the feds are still alive. You know what I'm saying? They're out here doing field work of some kind on the freaks. They're studying them. They got resources to do that while we're out here starving, fighting to stay alive. I followed them up to the Grotto Caves. You know the ones? Yeah. They had motion sensors set up, measuring how many freaks used the cave during the day, and, uh, Mike, it was thousands. That right. They said freaks all up and down the Cascade Range, south of Crater Lake and north up to Smith Rock, all used these lava tube caves to hibernate. So, we blew up those caves. Maybe we have a few less to deal with. Hey, this idea of yours, it's got some merit, but a job like that, it's gonna take a fair amount of TNT. You said you wanted help making Lost Lake safer? This is how we do it. <sighs> All right. All right, look, there's some things I gotta do, okay? But you meet me at the bridge in a couple of minutes. I know where we can find some. St. John, you were supposed to be up at the farm an hour ago. My guy said he's got a shovel waiting for you. Yeah, Schizo, about that, I'm busy. See, Iron Mike and I, we're just heading out on a run. You and Iron Mike, you'll get your ass up that way today. Or you and your gimp boyfriend are gonna find yourselves out in the shit. You hear me? Without a goddamn battle. Yeah, yeah, I'll get right on that. St. John out. What do you need? Huh? You got something to say about it? What do you want? Nope. Ready? Where are we headed? This time you're gonna have to trust me. Okay, where are we going? You know what they used to mine all around these parts? Yeah, uh, mercury or something. That's right, cinnabar. The extracted mercury from cinnabar. Folks back east think it was gold mines out here and silver. Not so. Back in the early 1900s, cinnabar was worth more than gold. To operate the mine, you need TNT for expansion, blowing out new tunnels, clearing cave-ins, that sort of shit. And to own TNT, you had to register with the county, keep copies of the keys to all your lockboxes with the commissioner. Wait, the county courthouse? Where the hell is that? Thought you knew. It's in the old federal building. The old federal building? The one in Sherman's camp? Jesus, Mike. What the hell? You told me... You, you told me that you were never setting foot in that place again. Did I? I don't recall. You were drunk right after Joe was killed. Did I tell you why? Here! No. Turn right, here! This is it!
Mike. The place is gonna be crawling. I don't, I don't think this is a good idea. Uh, weather holds, we'll be safe enough. All right. That there? It's the old federal building. That's where we're headed. Let's not go looking for trouble. Stay out of the buildings. Come on. We gotta head over this way. Where are we headed? Just follow me. Key will be on the commissioner. And and you know where he is? You, where his body is? Yeah, I think I do. You heard what happened here. Yeah. Everybody got wiped out, man, woman, and child. Only a few got out, and and uh, you you were one of them, right? Only two got out. Me and Nora. But it wasn't the freaks that took us out. What do you mean? Here. called a truce, a meeting, right here. Oh, we knew what was coming. We knew what was coming and we were prepared. Fight didn't last long, but it was bad. We had ammunition left after all, and how they... Oh, hell, you can see what they did. Like I said, two people walked out of this town after all was said and done. And some days... the hell one of them wasn't me. Commissioner's over there in the bean counter suit. Go get the key so we can get the hell out of here. You didn't give a damn. 